FPS, I will admit, I don't know the history of that region um, very well. However, it sounds unrealistic that Ukraine was a real threat to Russia and Russia calmly allowed attacks for almost a decade before declaring war on Ukraine in name of defense and will now only accept peace if the gain gain. Uh, Russia never wanted land. Keep in mind, Russia is the largest country in the world by a long shot, 11 time zones, right? Second of all, uh, Russia wasn't threatened by Ukraine. It was NATO that was threatening Russia because they were putting, forget about the chemical weapons labs and all this, forget about all that stuff. A day, two days before Russia went into Ukraine, right? The United States, the vice president of the United States and Zelensky came out and said they're going to put nukes in Ukraine, that Ukraine is going to join NATO. That means if they put nukes in Ukraine, right, that means Moscow was in four or five minutes of being hit with nukes. That doesn't give enough time for um, deterrent to take into effect, right? So that directly threaten Moscow look into the history FPS you have to look into the history we almost went into nuclear war because Russia was putting nukes in Cuba in retaliation of United States putting nukes in Turkey the reason the Cuban Missile Crisis came to a peaceful solution is be is because behind the back doors the United States agreed that they were going to remove the nukes they had in Turkey, right? If Russia would remove the nukes they had in Cuba, right? So they de-escalated. NATO has been constantly escalating, 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 escalating. They escalated to the point where Russia said, enough is enough. We're done, right? The global south the global majority, most of the people uh, that are, uh, you know, look into geopolitics, they're way more advanced, intelligent, knowledgeable about what's going on in the world than we in the Western world who have been brainwashed for decades upon decades, right? Just consider the last 15 years, a mantra came out, Putin bad, Putin bad, just like Saddam bad. Just like Iran, bad, China, bad, Afghanistan, bad, Cuba, bad, Venezuela, bad. Anybody that doesn't do exactly as the Western world demands of them is bad. And what does that imply? It implies that the Western world takes taxpayer money and Western citizens or any proxies like Ukraine and sacrifices their citizens because bad it's some of the lowest IQ uh, level that humanity has ever reached and it's not just because the leaders the so-called leaders in the Western world are some of the lowest IQ leaders in the world is because we in the Western world are some of the lowest IQ citizens in history human history I am not kidding you right it is time for us to lift ourselves out of this insanity and the first thing to do is educate ourselves instead of propagating regurgitating western mainstream corporate propaganda as you stated fps i will admit i don't know the history of that region very well if you don't know the history of that region very well then what you are stating you do not understand it is 100 percent false right and there's no discussion further that we can have because you don't know the history of that region right i can't talk to you about calculus if you don't know what two plus two is right i can give you a little bit of an idea of what calculus is it's the introduction of time into mathematics but you won't really appreciate what that means if you don't know what two plus two is right now when it comes to ukraine and russia what this conflict is about and has been about for a very long time is beyond your comprehension because what you're regurgitating is basically western propaganda and that's not a good starting point for a discussion okay i hope you look 
listen to those two interviews i hope you listen to those two interviews gonzala lira gonzala lira sacrificed his life so we would be educated as to what was really going on here right show truth tellers some respect salute to gonzalo